It's been a few months since we have discussed anything Andrew Garfield and uh, not gonna lie, this is like a broken record at this point. And you're probably wondering, Scarlet, what do you mean this is a broken record? Well, let me tell you. Every few months, these rumors and shit show up of, oh, Spider-Man 4 with Toby is being worked on or, oh, Andrew Garfield, Tasm 3, or just in general, Andrew is returning in more than Secret Wars or whatever the case may be. And it's like, all right, that's cool. But like, is it true though? You know, and it's just like, fuck man, like these rumors suck because they're rumors they're never there's never any confirmation but today we may actually have something that points to something going on between sony and andrew garfield we just don't exactly know what yet so yeah we're going to be discussing that and as well we're going to talk about spider-man freshman year oh, we got a title thing hey, really oh yeah oh okay all right uh, never mind, not Spider-Man freshman year anymore. So actually, yeah, let's talk about that first. Uh, so yeah, Spider-Man freshman year did actually get a title change and we got a release year. I don't recall if we ever got a release year date or anything beforehand. Uh, let me look real quick. Okay, I lied. Two months ago when we went over Cosmic Circus's article, they put out where they got some info regarding a few projects and they got it from like Marvel registering said projects officially and one of them were Spider-Man freshman year and Cosmic Circus did say November. 2024 for the release date or premiere date so yeah there was that now we can talk about the title change and also just a little bit about how weird the show has been so far as far as like news for it goes so when we first heard about it it was supposed to be an origin story for tom holland spider-man in the mcu in animated form and i mean like i was on board everybody pretty much seemed to be on board with that like okay sure yeah that's fine but then we got the first looks and it was like okay this is cool but like wait a minute how is this gonna be Tom Holland's origin. There's so many plot holes and shit like that if this is directly canon with the main MCU timeline. But then it was revealed that it's going to be like a parallel universe type of situation where like instead of Tony mentoring Peter, it seems to be Norman Osborn instead. So naturally, events will unfold differently, which I'm okay with and all for. Because I feel like at this point, it's better to distance itself from the MCU. And speaking of which, the title changed. So so yeah, they renamed the show to Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, which I like it. I don't mind it at all. I think that's a great title. And again, it kind of helps distance it from the MCU a little bit. Now, I've kind of had a running theory for a few months now. I think I did a video on this a while ago, but I haven't talked about it uh, in a while. So uh, we're, we're going to talk about it again. So you know how in No Way Home, Peter gets erased from everybody's memory and stuff like that or whatever. Cool. So I feel like what if that causes events to change and what I mean by this is essentially you know how flashpoint works with the flash he goes back in time changes something goes back to the uh present or whatever everything seems fine and dandy until he notices things are different and out of place i feel like essentially that is sort of what is going on here and the events of tom holland's spider-man change like like the events before dr strange casted that spell all of the events before dr strange casted that spell have changed due to like you know him casting the spell or whatever so i think friendly neighborhood spider-man may be the new origin story for mcu spider-man but the thing is that peter in the movies or whatever like in spider-man 4 won't know these new events occurred which is what will make it very interesting i think that would be a really dope idea for those who have watched the flash tv show i don't recall how many times this happened because there, there's so many fucking time traveling bullshit that happens in that that show i'm trying to think of like a good example uh there's one example in the show there was this guy with sound powers uh pied piper there we go that, that was his name i forgot his name for a second but i think they were enemies right pied piper and flash but i think they became friends or just like okay with each other and then flashpoint happened and then they weren't friends anymore they were mortal enemies or whatever but flash didn't know until like it was too late or whatever so i think that's what's going on here and that, like that's my fun little theory i have yeah so that's that friendly neighborhood spider-man that's a nice name change and it is confirmed to drop next year i don't think november was confirmed though so there's that now let's get into andrew garfield uh situation we got going on so this is rather interesting to say the least very intriguing but it's just weird so we have been getting like like i said we've been getting rumors for like every few months andrew is going to be venom 3 tasm 3 is getting made andrew is in talks uh whatever the rumor may be at said time like we've just been hearing all this shit for the past two years since no way home's release and andrew's triumphant return in that film that being said we recently just got a very interesting photo of andrew garfield so let's go over that and dissect it so here's the photo essentially what's going on here is you know like there's a screening 
screening of Across the Spider-Verse. It says Across the Spider-Verse right there. There's a screening of Across the Spider-Verse happening, right? And then, like, that's obviously Andrew Garfield right there, like, in the flesh, right there. Just kind of randomly there for some odd reason. And you're probably thinking, okay, like, yeah, this is random. And uh, again, yes, that's exactly what this is, random as fuck. But now, what's been going on is there has been, there have been screenings of Across the Spider-Verse and occasionally Andrew Garfield will pop up at said screening to talk about the film and you know like talk a little bit about Spider-Man in general but now keep in mind these screenings are done by Sony this is like a Sony presentation because their Spider-Verse franchise is theirs Marvel doesn't necessarily have to do with it yeah they're using their characters but like I think they have like the rights or something it, it's a mess but anyway either way what does this mean what what does that mean Sony would have had to contact Andrew Garfield talk with Andrew Garfield and then contract him to be on board for these screenings the thing is what exactly is this though like there's something here clearly but like what's the point of this you know like he obviously signed a contract of some sort to go and do this for for them or whatever like they probably could have had just any fucking random schmuck fucking do these do this shit but they chose andrew garfield to do this or whatever you know could this maybe be like an audience test things see how the general public reacts to this or whatever and like if it goes good they'll put him in something i don't know like i feel like that's fucking stupid because they could literally just look on social media and look up tasm 3 andrew garfield or something and see how much people want him to return as spider-man but this is essentially why i feel like we keep hearing rumors of shit going on with him being set to be in Venom 3, Madam Web, Craven, or whatever. Uh, actually, speaking of Craven, Craven is doing reshoots. We did hear about that recently. I don't know if I reported on it, but uh, yeah, maybe they could be doing reshoots to add him in, add his Spider Man in. I, that's, that's kind of a stretch, to be honest. But who knows at this point what's going on, you know what I mean? But as usual, keep your expectations low. Don't believe any of the rumors you may see online, because nothing has ever been confirmed type shit. But, you know, like we, we do got something right here. We, we just don't know exactly what it is necessarily and why it is i would imagine sony has seen the fan uproar of wanting andrew to return but honestly you never know with sony sometimes like they're just plain fucking stupid and that's what it is you know what i mean so yeah what do you think of the friendly neighborhood spider-man news we got and my theory and as well what do you think of this andrew garfield spider-verse screening shenanigans going on do you think there's something here or eh, not really it is pretty random though maybe it's just brand synergy of some sort with that being said i want to hear your opinion so make sure to comment down below so i can interact with you in the comments thank you for taking time out every day to click on this video if you're new to the channel i try my best to cover confirmations rumors leaks regarding spider-man media and whatever else i'm interested in so if that's what you're interested in hit the subscribe button we're on the road to 5k don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and to check out my latest upload at the top left hope you have had a good day and that you enjoyed the video until next time